Ladies and gentlemen, how y'all doing today? Just got back in. Like I said, just checking through some things. <laughs> oh, some of y'all cracked me up. Alright, I'm going to start this off real quick. Y'all hang in there with me. We got some shooting we're going to do. Alright. The Redneck Talk. On the way I talk on some of my videos. <clears throat> Let me explain. Because some of you don't understand. Alright. The word ganky. Ganky. Short term means. If I'm talking about. This factory piece of brass. And I say this is ganky. In my part of the country. That is a nice way of saying. This is screwed up. Okay, if I say we need to bump this shoulder back a bit or a tad, which means a little. Now one thing I will agree with some of y'all on is the packet. <laughs> I don't even understand that one myself. So... We're all going to have to get together and work on that. This is a set of leaky dies. I don't know where I got packet from. But. Just have a little fun guys. I mean honestly just have some fun. Have a little laugh. That's, I do a lot of this stuff like I said. So y'all can have a little bit of laugh. And the way everything is in the country. We, we all need it. Alright. Let's get back on the regular schedule program here. I shot five of the reloads that we done yesterday. The They shot horrible. Now with this new stock, I'm thinking, like I said, that we've got some issues with I don't know if we can go into the barrel harmonics and all that, but let's just break it down like a redneckish. We got a whole lot of vertical string in it. About approximately about two and a half inches. <clears throat> so generally what that tells me is we're probably getting contact. And I may be wrong. But I think I already know where it's at. So what we may end up having to do is take this thing back down. Take a little out of the front right up here. And I'll show you all that, like I said, later. Go on in bed. Like I said, just uh, get some Accu glass from uh, Brown Ales. We may end up having to bed, like I said, this, this whole thing. It's not too bad. Really, like I said, it, it feels pretty good. But what I shot yesterday, I did use the bipod. <clears throat> Y'all seen that we've shot with the bipod on the other stock. And, I mean, it, it done fairly well. But, <clears throat> what I'm going to do today, is we're going to take some of this factory ammo. I'm not going to shoot reloads. But, if you go back into other videos, you'll see this gun really shot this ammo good. We'll make three shots with the bipod. Then I'm going to take it off and make three shots off of a bag. And I'm going to try to place the bag back in here. In my theory, that really should pretty much break it down if we are getting contact up here, like I said, with me loading the bipod, it's not that much, but long story short, like I said, that's that's kind of how we're headed on this, so let's get out to the range, do some shooting. Hey everybody, we're fixing to run this test, see how it does, we got the bipod on, got the secondary camera down, got 130 grain Federal Fusion, we're going to run three. Then change the targets out, let the barrel cool, 
And I am with this with this being a deer rifle, I am gonna use gloves. Yeah, it's about a hundred degrees out here, but or use a glove. Ears on. Whew, that sun is hot. All right. Pulling that one just a little. I'm going to change targets, guys, and then uh, let this thing cool off a bit. We'll be right back. I got the bipod hanging off the front. So like I said, we're gonna shoot these off the bag. The barrel, like I said, the barrel is still a little warm. So like I said, we may get a little bit different. Pulling that to the right. See if I can duplicate it. All is picked up. Go inside, see what we got. This is with the bipod. <laughs> uh, I think we just, 
or not we, but I think I just loaded up some ganky rounds there. 0 0.596 and that's way outside to I mean I actually tighten it up a little right there and we'll just leave it there we got 0 0.561 this is with the bipod and this other one was out the bipod now some of this different stringing that y'all are going to see, a lot of this is just me. But, you know, either that's just the way it goes. Let me get it right here. Uh, we got roughly about a zero, 0 0.931, which is perfectly good enough for moa deer so <sighs> uh, i don't know like i still think there's some small things you know that we can you know improve on it a little bit i still like i said i still want to go on and bed the gun or the stop and take just a tad bit of that front out and change that trigger. Like I said, y'all have heard me complain. That's this is not the new Hawa trigger. This is one of the old ones. But I th think from what I've done yesterday, and I was really thinking that it was making contact with the bipod. I I don't think so. Like I said, that's just with me, you know, loading it up. <clears throat> Loading it up pretty good, so I mean, roughly roughly a half inch group. With this gun and this ammo, even as much as I all, I'm going to reload for it, I'm always going to have some of this. Like I said, it just we've done video after video and video, and it seemed like I always seem to come back to this. I was, I've shot the Hornady Whitetail, you know, the 140 grain interlock. It's, you know, it shoots well under an inch with it. But as far as factory and just being consistent all the time, I mean, this, this is just good stuff. All right, guys. I believe that's going to conclude it for today. Y'all will make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification button, and we'll catch y'all next time. God bless.